Okay. Okay. Uh, so I was listening to Yvette last night, and um, we uh, we got our marching orders. Well, we always get our marching orders every Monday and Wednesday. But here's the thing, man. Just drinking water. Did my morning pills already. Hey, got that alkaline water. 8.8 alkaline. I'm going down to Virginia. I'm going to, later on this morning, I'll be jumping on a train going down to Virginia. Down there, they have a health food store, and they their water don't come by. Like they, they have this thing like nine points, whatever, until so you have your own little thing. I pay a little, like something like $2, then they give you a whole lot of water. It's good. Anyway, uh, here's the thing. Uh, Barack Obama came out, of, came out of Slytherin, came from Slytherin to being a snake in the grass that he is. Because, you know, you know, he's responsible for a bunch of the stuff. Perez being whatever have you, which knocked out Keith Ellison, which knocked out, but basically Bernie lost when Perez became the uh, DNC, whatever, that, that the, the head, whatever it is. You know what I mean? And then, of course, you know, you had the, you had the Obama again, you know, the Obama effect. I guess you could say that uh, when they had that whole Super Tuesday thing, where he got behind the scenes again. You know, got those all those people to drop out so Joe Biden can do the thing. Did it for his boy. Well, you can't blame him. You know, Joe's his boy. What can you say? Um, so now he comes out the woodwork again, right? <laughs> and he says, "All the mayors, we're going to do this thing. We're going to help you. Yeah, we're going to stop. The, we're going to stop people from protesting." What they're basically saying. But here's the thing. Remember, I come from the South Bronx. Now, I'm staying, when I'm in New York, one of the places I stay, now I'm saying one of the places, whatever, is um, my fraternity brother. We, I'm up in this house right now, right? Now, he grew up in the, in the uh, Lower East Side, you know, Edenwall, the whole Edenwall project, you know, that whole, you know, uh, whatever they got down there. I grew up in the South Bronx, you know, which is, you know, Patterson Projects, you know, whatever. And so these are two, these two areas, the significance, the significance about both these areas is they were like hub areas. I explained this in the other video, hub areas. So, so, so the, the, basically the, the authorities, you know, we're talking, uh, when I say the authority, these people, the police, the politicians, and the mafia, okay? Organized crime, police, politicians, organized crime, got together and they said, we're going to deal with these drugs by just dumping it in the, in the South Bronx or the Lower East Side, uh, you know, like that, and that, that's and that's how we're going to deal with drugs because if we let these drugs in, it'll destroy the gangs. There you go. Okay, okay. So let's fast forward up to today. What do we have right now? Obama's Obama, a politician, getting the other politicians together, and what are they saying? They say, "Hey, we're going to have a study of commission." Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You can just go to the current commission. In fact, here's what I suggest. Since these brilliant minds, you know, because it basically uh, Obama's using the mayors and there's they're, they're mutant, the, the, the police or whatever have you. But think about this, right? Think about this. I'm going to update this stuff. Back then, we was, we was against the mafia, the police, and the politicians. Right now, the politicians, right, right now, is being led by Obama, okay? Uh, and of course, you have the Donald Trump politicians, whatever, right? Then we have the, uh, the then basically, uh, it, it, it's, uh, we still have the police, you know what I mean? Because they're still, they still do what they do, you know what I mean? So the police is still in that equation. So where's the organized crime now? Hmm, where's the organized crime? Hey, gotta be there someplace. Believe me, it's there someplace. So nothing has changed. That's all I'm saying. And and we can't think of anything as, as changing. That's not what they want. They just want to quell, quell the uprising, and then we just go on, on our little merry way. That's what they would like. But we can, this energy cannot stop. You know, if they they could, like I said, they can take the current commission, and if they need, they, instead of study, study, setting up a commission someplace, instead of just re, re we read the Kerner Commission, right? That's your answer, right? Now, the rest of us on the ground, right? We, we'll do our own commission because the Kerner, Kerner Commission, remember, these are all politicians, the big time people, right? Where's the, the voices of the regular people? That's what I'm saying. Who? I'm not sitting on any commission. I don't want people to sit on any commission, but I don't want their, their point of view, right, to dominate. You know, things are going to change. Only their suggestions, their meaning, only the politicians' suggestions, only the business people's suggestions. Where's the suggestion from the people from the downtrodden? Where's the brother on the corner suggestion? Where's all my people, all my all my vendors, all, all my street vendors, right? The, what commission? I don't even want them to sit on the commission. We know what the deal is, you know what I mean? But the point is we can't let them dictate to us. We have to give them the answer, not them. You know, they want to keep the top town thing. You know, we know what's best for you, and that can't be. We we on the ground right now, and we working, we working. So I've got to take a, you know, taking a ride today. Me taking a ride, me being T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality. This is a reality here. This whole thing is a reality. A reality of a A D O S. I keep on 
But just in case you don't see it, just, just I'm taking this down with me because I got to take this all around me because right now I'm just keeping Fanny, I'm keeping Fanny Lou Hamer on, on the back of my head because Fanny Lou Hamer got my back in this whole episode here. But the next few weeks, Fanny Lou Hamer is on my mind. Check you later.